Right, now we're getting to the task definition, the dark beschreiving. So we've already copied these four headings, what the current situation is, how the situation is, and so forth. Now um, we're going to start filling it in. Right, so this is where we're working now on page three at the moment, and we're going to start with the first heading. What is the current situation? What is the huidige situatie? Now, what we're looking for now is a clear statement of the problem, the current situation. Why are you doing this investigation? So, hoe kom doen jy die onderzoek? Wat is die probleem? So, now that you've actually done your research, you should be able to just give like a succinct, like a two-sentence, two, two three-liner answer just of describing what the problem is. Why are you doing this research? What as basically you're saying what aspect you're researching and why it is a problem, why it's necessary to do this research. Next up, we're doing the focus and the purpose. Now this one you need to be careful. There are two things you need to say. The focus and the purpose of your investigation. The focus and the dual funny onashuk. So it says here at the top, the description says an overview of which aspects will be investigated and covered, and you need to say what the purpose of your investigation is. Okay, the oorsig van wat er aspekte jy gaan ondersoek. So, this is not just saying you're going to focus on whatever your topic is. You actually need to specify what the three subtopics are that you're going to be looking at. So, in the document now, what you're going to do is you're going to press enter once, and I think the best would be to do one little paragraph on the focus, stating what the three areas are that you've decided to focus on, as well as a sentence saying my purpose is or my goal with this is to say this and that. Now, let me quickly show you an example or two of um, examples that things that work and things that don't work. So I'm going to show you two wrong examples. So here's an example of what you should not do. Okay. This person showed me they are focusing on problem, community, and solution, community involvement and solution. But they actually answered the question. They already told me what the problem is, that homeless people don't have money to pur purchase food, what the community involvement is, what the solution they think. This is not what we're here to do. We are here to say we are going to in, um, investigate this. We're not here to say what we've already investigated. Okay, so this is wrong. The fact that they said the purpose, this is fine, but the, the top, the pot top part where they talk about the focus is wrong because they actually already answered some of the questions. Same with this one. The, this one is also wrong. So they also spoke about the three different things. They made it bold, which helps the problem and the impact and the solution, but they already spoke, they already elaborated too much. They already told me what the problem is. They already told me what the impact and the solution is. I don't want to know that. I want to know that you are going to research this. So if we look at what looks uh, good examples, here's a good example. Um, what your goal is, what you want to do with this, and what you're going to focus on. What causes it? What solutions are available? What's the impact? Simple as that. Here's another example. What's your focus going to be? How is it going to help? Um, what situation causes this? What's the costs? What's your goal? That's it. That's all you need to say over here. Right. Now, number three, the third bullet. How will you go about the investigation considering all the PAT requirements? Okay. Now it says specify in broad terms how you will approach the task. Okay. Now, study the requirements of the PAD and indicate how you intend to collect the data, information, and manipulate it, etc. So you can't just say, I'm going to do phase one in Word, phase two in what, what, what. You actually need to say what's happening in each phase. So a good page to look at is page 10. Page 10 over here gives us a very good example of what you're going to do in each of these phases. Now, you obviously can't use these words exactly as it is, but have a read through and see what you're, what, what's expected of you. You basically need to create a summary of this now. You need to say in phase one, I would make a little paragraph, a short, not long, but a little paragraph saying in phase one, this is what I'm going to do. In phase two, this is what I'm going to do. In phase three, 
this is what I'm going to do. And make sure that you at least mention the documents or the files that's going to be in each phase. So in phase one, you're going to have one report. You're going to start your report and do your research. In phase two, you're going to do your questionnaire, analyze it in and analyze that in a spreadsheet and a database. And in phase three, you're going to complete your report and make a website. So at least mention those and then elaborate it on it a little bit more based on the information that they give to you over here. So I would put a little paragraph for each of those under this heading to say in phase one, phase two, phase three. You can even make it bullets if you want. The last one is a bit easier. Who is the target audience? You need to identify a realistic target audience for the final report. Who will that will be drafted okay realistic now i know you're not really doing this because you want to you're doing it because you have to but think of who this would be useful for okay so don't just say it's for your teacher um don't just say it's for the department say who will this benefit who can you give this to who can actually learn something from it okay and and say that is your target audience target audience is who are you um who do you want to read this and who can actually learn something from that thing? So this will be your shortest sentence in the whole target, in the whole um, task definition. Just a little one liner, one or two liner that says, who are you actually going to aim this report to? Who would you like to read this so that they can learn something about it? Okay, so now we're finally properly in phase one. We've done our task definition. We've done what the current situation is, what your focus and your purpose will be, how you'll go about the investigation and who your target audience is for the final report. Four marks of phase one done.